The stop number six unabated to the quarterback. There we go, unabated. Indianapolis with a third down at midfield on third and three. Matt Ryan out of the shotgun will throw it over the middle and just gets it to Michael Pittman, and they will give him the first down right at the line to gain. Colts living around that to a first down marker, it would seem, on, on third downs and fourth downs here today. The Colts will take the lead with a touchdown if they can get it in. They're at the two-minute warning in Indianapolis. You're not missing anything in the Colts-Chiefs game. Here's your drama on first and five in Miami. Two timeouts. Blocked by Quisenberry. Got the almost picked off by Holland. And they were going for the fullback Reggie Gilliam. Lions on a fourth and one are lining up to go for it. If they get this here, Minnesota will have to burn their timeouts. Dan Campbell has been known to gamble. He will on this play. Jamal Williams tackled and dropped. They will not get there. Minnesota's defense does its job. Minnesota gives the football back to Kirk Cousins. A field goal will tie the game. Touchdown can take the lead. Bills have to have a touchdown here to take the lead with four minutes, 40 seconds remaining. Almost intercepted on the deflection by the linebacker Jalen Phillips on a little pass that was headed for the running back Singletary. And now Trent third and five. Seven, seven guys at the line. They drop three out into coverage. Phillips really doesn't even rush all that hard. He knows that that flat route to Singletary because that's the adjustment. We got drama in Chicago just seconds ago. Davis Mills threw an interception, and the Bears are immediately set up in field goal range. There's a minute left to go in the fourth quarter. Mills is disgusted with the outcome of this one. That's the replay on the right side of your screen. It's the linebacker, Roquan Smith, stepping in front on the left side. Live action. Josh Allen sees a lane, runs for it. He has the first down and more down inside of the 15-yard line. The Bills with a fresh set of downs. Clock is not an issue for Buffalo. Roquan Smith had the hold-in situation, looking for a new contract, was frustrated with Chicago, making what could be the play of the game between the Bears and the Texans. They will try and burn the clock here. They'll have to take their final timeout, Will Houston, and they will at the 101 mark. Okay, bookmark that for a second. The Bears are in chip shot field goal range and can take the clock down to three seconds to kick it should they choose to. First and ten. Allen, Cook to the six, upended on the play by Roberts. Hip up tackler. You see, a lot of guys will come in and just try and throw a shoulder into people. Will Quantrum make sure that he wraps up with those arms. But Andrew, we're at a strategy point here. Lovey Smith could have called timeout, could have gone over to his defensive unit and said, we're going to let him score. We want him to run into the end zone so we can get the ball back. Conversely, Matt Eberflus should be telling his guys, we're going to get down. Nobody scored a touchdown here. We're going to settle for a field goal. And you can see that's exactly what they're doing. They're not even going to allow the Gilliam. So Chicago's going to have to kneel on it twice and then take their timeout as Devin Singletary goes inside of the five-yard line. First and goal, Buffalo. And now the Bills can kind of slow up just a little bit if they choose to. They can't get this down much below the two-minute warning. We'll see, we'll see how the pace that the Bills go with here. Everyone is gassed when it has a 100-degree feels-like temperature on the field at Hard Rock Stadium. But Justin Fields and company, not the smoothest offensive game we've seen this year, but they are in position to win this game. So they'll take a knee, call timeout with four seconds or three seconds left. The Bills going with a run inside. The push from the linemen. They're going to mark that at the one-yard line. Not a touchdown there. Okay, so Chicago. Well, wait a second. Why did the clock stop in Chicago with 18 seconds? Guys, let's double back in Chicago. I, I just saw them. They were going to take it down. What? What? The, the Bears called their timeout. I think it was prior to the snap. It's still oh, boy. What? Okay. okay. So it's not field goal time this could again. be. Yeah, prior the, to the, the snap. Play. It's third down and nine. They can take another knee okay. and then. I, 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 this is unfathomable if they took this timeout on purpose with 18 seconds to kick the field goal. I, I, yeah. 
I, I don't understand. What, whatever it is, now they'll take a knee and they'll use their second timeout. There you go. Line it up where you want the kicker to have it. And they'll take it down to four seconds, call their timeout, and we'll get you to the game-winning field goal attempt in just a moment. No, no, you still got timeouts left. He's like running on the field like we got to go quick. No, yeah, we're going to call timeout. Three seconds left. You should watch Red Zone. We, we have all the scenarios there for you. Oh, boy. Matt Eberflus getting it into position. And, yep, Chicago Bears fans, I'm not even going to mention it. I'm not even going to mention what you guys have gone through. And, and yeah, I, I just mentioned it. Come on, Hanson. Fourth and eight and incomplete. Fourth and eight, and oh, and Adam Thielen, apoplectic, calling for a flag against the Lions, but no penalty marker came, so the Lions are in beautiful position. We'll see two timeouts remaining for Minnesota, so it's not victory formation for Detroit, but they are in excellent shape. The Colts, meanwhile, have worked it into the red zone, and we'll get you back to the Buffalo-Miami game in just a moment. The game-winning field goal for Chicago. Santos for the win, and it is good! Bears win it! Bears win it, and Matt Ryan to the end zone. The Colts score the go-ahead touchdown with 24 seconds remaining. Unbelievable drama. The Bears win on a walk-off field goal. The Colts take a last-second touchdown lead against the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs. This is what the witching hour is all about. And you take the crossing routes, and Woods runs a deep over cross, and Thornhill's there. But the ball placement by Matt Ryan, high, just outside the reach, to a huge target. Whew. Second one by Woods. Wow, size is a difference maker, and he showed it there. Big extra point, McLaughlin, to make it three. And that kick is good. How about that drive? The Raiders need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. That ball comes out of Derek Carr's hand. They'll say his arm was going forward. But Matt Ryan, the KG veteran, first year, first month, as a matter of fact, with the Indianapolis Colts, may have just uh, executed a game-winning touchdown drive. But you know who's on the other sidelines. And you know that Mahomes doesn't need 24 seconds. He can do it in less than that. Here we go. Buffalo out of the two-minute warning timeout. Touchdown to take the lead. Allen, after the fake to Singletary, was trilled on the play. Hit hard by Jerome Baker and thrown for a one-yard loss back to the two. Carr on second down. Uh, that pass broke it up. Miami wasn't falling for that. Baker and Roberts both waiting for him. Miami has no timeouts remaining. Bills have two. Josh Allen has accounted for 401 of that one. Tenth play of the drive for the Las Vegas Raiders. They have to the backfield, third and ten. It's Carr throws to the end zone incomplete. Keenan Cole looking for a flag. McCreary defending. Now fourth down. And it's automatic four down territory. It's a two plays. Two touchdown passes will go to the air. Third and goal. Great time to the end zone. And almost picked off an incomplete. And Howard was right there. We'll get you right back for fourth and goal. The Miami Dolphins can ice the game virtually with a defensive stop on fourth and goal. You've got, oh my goodness, a personal foul against Indianapolis. Are you going to give Patrick Mahomes 15 free yards? We got to go to a triple box. Bottom of the screen, it is fourth and 10. Carr to the end zone. Waller cannot get to it. Incomplete, but a penalty flag comes in. If this is defensive holding, it's a first down. Derek Carr certainly thinks it is. The Buffalo Bills, it's a fourth and goal. Miami can go a long way to salt the game away, but Josh Allen with the ball in his hands goes outside and underthrows the intended target. Incomplete. Miami takes over on downs. The Bills will have to burn their timeouts. What thrilling drama in South Florida. Tua Tunga Bailoa knocked out of the game in the first half, back in the second half. Scores the go-ahead touchdown in the fourth quarter, and now the Dolphins are a minute and 46 seconds away from being 3-0 and 
and in first place in the AFC East. Wow. It was a holding penalty, defensive holding, as we suspected, against the Tennessee Titans. Upper left-hand corner, Patrick Mahomes, field goal to tie, touchdown to take the lead. 14 seconds left and all three timeouts. Mahomes takes the snap, looks around, fires downfield. Man in the middle of the field is there. And they'll call a timeout immediately. Carr to try and tie with a touchdown on a two-point conversion. And then he throws it out of bounds. Again, pressure from Weaver. With all this man coverage, I'm actually surprised Josh McDaniels, he hasn't run more crossing routes. Usually that's a way to beat these tight man coverage. You go and you have your two of your best guys, you put them one on the inside on the left, inside on the right. You kind of let them go up three, four yards and start crossing and run away from their defenders. That'd be a great route combination, route concept to run right now. Bolden lined up to the right of Carr, second and goal. Carr to the end zone, incomplete. In the We're going to run cover one man. Someone's going to drop down in here. All these guys are going to be man to man. And all you do is come out and throw it deep. Fires and intercepted on the deflection. And the Colts are going to upset the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. We did not believe. Rodney McLeod ends up with the football off the deflection of Stephon Gilmore. Gilmore comes up huge. We've seen it throughout his whole career. Stephon Gilmore against Miss Schuster tips the ball. And it goes right in the hands. But the biggest thing is the miscommunication that I saw. As you see McLeod come down with it at the end with Gilmore. But watch the beginning of the play. Mahomes first interception thrown of the season. One Matt seven. Ryan with a sweet and kneel Matt down Ryan to get the first victory of the season against one of the best teams in the NFL. Undefeated Kansas no City. longer, the 2-1 two and one Kansas City Chiefs. Frank Reich and company in the win column in 2022. All right, so the uh, Buffalo Bills have burned their timeouts. It's third and 11 from their own one-yard line. What type of a play call do you come up with here for Miami? And you're not missing anything in the Titans and Raiders game. It's a timeout on the field with a minute and 22 seconds. Two is going to throw for it out of his own end zone. Danger, danger, danger. And it stops the clock, so they could have just had a run play into the middle of the line of scrimmage. Buffalo would have had to, would, didn't have a timeout. It would have gone, taken the clock down to less than 60.